Thanks for joining me today on TCM. I'm Dave Carger. We're kicking off this Saturday with a film set during World War II that features elaborate special effects and a solid cast. From Warner Brothers in 1943, it's action in the North Atlantic. At the time the movie was released, there was indeed action in the North Atlantic. German U-boats were targeting and sinking dozens of Allied ships. This film deals specifically with the merchant marine, whose job was to transport supplies to the battlefront. Their vessels were usually unarmed and thus especially susceptible to attack. Raymond Massey plays the skipper of a ship called the Sea Witch, and his first mate is a lieutenant played by Humphrey Bogart. The ship is making a perilous crossing to Russia, dodging torpedoes and dive bombers along the way. All of action in the North Atlantic was filmed on the Warner backlot, and the ship at the center of the story filled an entire soundstage. It was so large that the ship itself couldn't be rocked, so the camera had to do the rocking. Located around the set were dozens of gas jets operated by valves, much like an organ console. It was one man's job to operate those jets to look like spontaneous fires while keeping the actors from getting singed. And just in case there was a mishap, there were 25 firefighters standing by at all times. From 1943, also with Alan Hale Sr., Ruth Gordon, Sam Levine, and Dane Clark, here is Action in the North Atlantic. The scene where Humphrey Bogart, Raymond Massey, and the crew are abandoning the sinking sea witch was filmed by several accounts with the aid of martinis. Bogart and Massey had been told they were through for the day, so they went to a local watering hole. Then after a few rounds, they were unexpectedly called back to the studio to lend their voices to the scene while their doubles did the work. But Bogart and Massey, who were well-fueled by that point, insisted on doing the scene themselves, all the while arguing about which of them was braver. Incidentally, this was Bogart's final film with director Lloyd Bacon, who had also directed him in such films as Marked Woman, Brother Orchid, and one of Bogart's few westerns, The Oklahoma Kid. Up next, a movie that features adventure, romance, and Robert Mitchum singing. 